So you're on quite a. Uh, Isn't that wild? <laughs> so you're on a side hill lie. You're on quite a, a side hill. Thing five feet, but now you're at 18. So now you're going to want to aim a little bit left. Well, then I want to see the ball come back on the on the tee box. Oh, these are speedy. Yeah. So like I said, these are so the ball comes good. back, and I see the ball come back, and then it automatically goes on the tee. So this one's Boom. light, just seven That's cool. feet halfway to the screen, not even. Okay, Bill. Oh, hey, this is things you got to learn at, with the equipment. The screen. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. A little bit right on this one because it's going to move left. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh too hard still. <laughs> ball comes back. And you'll see the ball comes right back up there. <laughs> this one you should be able to just It's just a little. I'm, 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 I'm thinking you can do well here, Bill. Does it have to reach the. Uh... No, you just want to tap it right past that metal. There you go. Your first shot of the day. Yeah, so I mean, you see the loft is affected the way that you did it. But one of the nice things is because the uh, because the tee heights are built in. If you were to tee it up at you know 60 or, or 70 compared to a tee height of this, it's going to change your launch angle quite a bit, right? So if if the if the system doesn't know where you're teeing it up. It's hard to say where the ball starts and where the launch angle accurately is. So as it crosses through these two laser walls, uh, if it starts here and crosses through here and here, you know the launch angle is quite a bit more than if you started the tee height right. all the way at the top. I mean, it seems like just a little bit, but that affects the launch angle oh, big quite a bit. Yeah, sure. As it does on the course. Yeah. And again, that's really well. I mean, that tells you a lot. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah. Well, here's I mean, like I said, the, the, the good shots are the easy ones to nap. It's, the it's all of these other ones. What's that? Hit the C for a new ball? Uh, the yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Right. Hit a tree and see what happens. I know it's hard for you. Well, I think I'm coming. I'm going there right now. <laughs> oh, good. There it is. Here it is. So, Wait, not yet. Yeah. All right, we can get you on a train. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it, but it does do that. I just want to. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's what I saw. Oh, yeah, right. there you go, Derek. There you go. That's a okay, Derek, there you go. You're lined up. <laughs> <laughs> I challenge you to. I know it's hard for you. This is not in your. That, that bulk thing is cool, too. I mean, it just. A lot of littles make the experience so much yeah, better. So much better. He missed the tree. <laughs> really to hit it. He really wants to see yeah, I want to see what happens if he hits the tree. If you hit it on the right side, you may be able to yeah. it on the green. Oh, very cool. Okay, good. Now what do you do? Okay. I love how that, the, your eyes, the eye changes. Yeah, see the, the plate. Okay, now what happens in sand? So now you'll see, depending on where it settled, so he's got a 45% deceleration rate, if you see right above the, uh, right below the ball. Okay, yeah. So you're, you've got 25 yards, but since you're in the green, right. or in the bunker, you have to play it like it's, you know, 45 yards. And you want to play it, since you have that lip in front of you, you want to similarly kind of pop it out. Nice. 
So yeah, he's got a, uh, he's be a side hill lie. I, he's going to hit a tree for you, Tommy. So I get, just get a picture of the, of the so plate. plates are cool. probably want to try yeah. to bend it if you can. This, you're not, this is, it, you, I mean, it feels like I'm thinking. Side hill? Uh, yeah, you were yeah. It's the hardest thing on the course. Oh, good. Right. Punched it right through. I like the way it tracks, too. That's good. It's yeah. really good. So you can set it to manual, and that way if you want to work off Put it all the way up. Any type of lie you want. So if you want to work off of the side hill lie, you can hit them on the range like that. Yeah. Or I can kind of tilt it. Can you invert it down? I'm always sitting there. Yeah, yeah. So this is up. Okay. Oh, wow. And then down would be... Look at that, that's cool. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's engineered, man. It's thought out. Jeez. Dig that. I mean, no, I've been there a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I, know, I know that stance. It's recommending you hit a three. So for a three, you would hit here from the turf, yes. So you knock it backwards, the tee drops down, and then you hit your next spot from the turf. The nice it's, thing about that is you still never have to uh, so ideally, it'd be right. Oh, right on those right on the dots. But the nice thing is, you never have to bend over. Yeah. Go ahead, Bill. I can add another player too, if you guys want to just. Play no, we'll do this. We'll just get the yeah the features of. Oh. <laughs> so just out of curiosity, this this hole is almost 400 yards, 392. Correct. Okay. And the my drive went how far? It went uh, like 80, 80 yards. 80 yards. 80 yards. Yeah. You miss hit it. If you, if you pop it up. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but where, where do you see the 80 yards? Top right, 70. Well, well the difference in well, the 392 yeah, that, and that's now you're not your issue. Here, this is what you're concerned with. Is now you're 227 out, you have 27 downhill. So if you've got a 27 yard downward slope right. towards the green and you're 229 out. 229 Yeah. Out. So if, if I took the 229 from 392. I yeah, mean, I, it actually, it's saying that you're probably going to hit your three wood 229. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So, oh. you're, any time you're 290. Your player will okay. always say how far you are oh, from the okay. actual pin. So, you're 300 yards from the pin. Yeah. I see. So, the right. 99 uh, it, it's basically um, the, the distance that I drove it. Correct. Okay. The difference between those two numbers. Yeah. Yeah, so, so player one. Um, Oh. That's your last swing too, which is. Uh, oh wow! And so with that, you'll actually see what your last ball did as well. So your carry was 85, total distance 92, ball speed, angle, spins, all of that. That's um, nice. All built into one. Uh, the other nice thing is you can control it from here, so you can see that pop up without even leaving the bag. Nice. And then if you click, so eventually, oh yeah, so you can. So if you click over, you can see some of the other swing analysis. So this would be your carry and the shape that the ball hit. And uh, you know, again, the nice thing is you can get access to all of these training tools, whether you're on the course, on a driving range, on a training course, right, where, right. where you're at. And once you look at it and you're done with it, you just press clear and you're on your next shot. So give it okay. a whack. Give it a whack, Billy. You're, you're, you're Dr. Straight, so go ahead. So your upper left, that'll show the uh, Shape of the club. Look at that. So as you came, came through, you can see that you were really closed on it, which started at left and then made it slice back around, right? Because you just put that uh, that right side spin on it. Oh, so I was coming in like.